I'm making a quick recording of the um, review in case any of you missed this or um, in case there are any audio issues. Um, so I'm going to share the screen with you and we can look at it together. So this is on the Google Classroom if you want to check your answers. I looked at some of your answers um, last night and I corrected issues, for example, in this one. So if you didn't get it done ahead of time, just um, you can contact me today and I can check it as well. Um, but you can go over these answers and I suggest you do that before the test. Um, just to go through this really quickly, um, you know, if Xiu Lin hadn't helped us, we wouldn't have finished. So the important part is to use have or had um, when you're talking about something that is um, a hypothetical situation in the past. And I won't do all of these, but you guys can look at this yourself. Um, another thing that is going to be on the test today is um, these phrases that are really common um, Spanishisms. So instead of it is necessary to put out the fire, a better way to say it is they need to put out the fire or putting out the fire is necessary. Um, and the second one, instead of it is supposed, remember you can never say this in English, you're supposed to follow the speed limit or he is supposed to follow the speed limit or we, as long as there is a subject. And the third one, it is incredible that the machine flies is also incorrect. Um, you need to say the flying machine is incredible or that man who is flying is incredible or it's incredible how that machine flies. Um, there's more than one right answer, but you do need to avoid things like it is necessary or it is supposed, okay? Um, the next one, you're using the passive. When you talk in the passive tense, you don't have to say who. For example, you could say uh, chairs and tables are sold here by people. Um, but it's not necessary to say who does it, and it kind of defeats the purpose of passive sentences. For the headlines, um, this first one was probably the most difficult um, the simplest way to say it is boy's body was buried to hush up murder. To hush up means shh, to make it quiet. So um, if you put who did it, there's actually two of them in this one. So you would say the boy's body was buried by Dune School to hush up the murder by seniors. You'll notice headlines also frequently do not have articles V or A for the sake of um, keeping it short. The second one, Japan hit by atomic bomb or Japan was hit by an atomic bomb to say it the full way. Uh, the next one is just vocabulary from, um, from uh, being economic and um, helpful for the environment. Um, some of these such as, um, Oh, number five can be a little confusing. Uh, clothes aren't necessarily recycled. The clothes can also be secondhand. So some of these have more than one right answer, um, but this is the solutions that I came doing it myself. Normally I say secondhand clothes when they're used and recycle is more for trash, but it could also be used for clothing. Um, the next one um, is having you complete the conversations. Um, the most confusing might be number eight because it was already in the past. Remember, if it's in the past um, for reported speech, you have to say has. So I spoke to Kevin becomes you hadn't spoken. I thought you hadn't spoken to Kevin. Um, I thought number two, I thought I know the answer. Uh, I thought you didn't know the answer. Maybe it could be I thought you did know the answer. There could be more than one right answer. But remember, um, the present tense goes to past, past tense goes to um, past perfect, okay? Future goes to would. Those are the three important ones. There's more than that, but those are the important ones. Um, for the next one, um, you're just finding mistakes. So uh, this is 
pretty explanatory, self-explanatory. Some of these, like number one, uh, you could say he asked me when the game started or when the game had started. We don't know what the original sentence was. If the original sentence was, uh, when does the game start? Reported speech would be, he asked when the game started. Uh, if the original was, when did the game start in the past? The reported speech would be, he asked me when the game had started. So we don't know. So either of these would be correct. The same. And number six. Uh, for 12, this is, is going to be on the final exam. So make sure you know these. These are important. Uh, they're a little different than Spanish. So you can see the answers here. Misjudged, overcooked, unbelievable, overweight, etc. cetera. Um, there were supposed to be two in each of them. And um, I haven't done this ahead of time. Uh, there are many ways to shorten these sentences and make them more concise. Um, I'll give you one example, but there's more than one way to do it. So doctors and public health officials in the Northern Hemisphere were on high alert. This is a good spot for a new sentence. They did not know how COVID-19 would behave in the first winter of the pandemic because respiratory viruses tend to surge during cold weather. I would put, I would never use more than one and in the writing if possible. There were the usual concerns about influenza, the shape-shifting virus that sickens and kills many people every year. Uh, I would make this a new sentence, but I would not separate these two because the shape-shifting virus that sickens and kills many people is describing the first one. So these do go together. Uh, at worst, doctors feared they would see simultaneous outbreaks of COVID-19 and flu, which would overwhelm hospitals and send deaths soaring, a twin dimic. So as this, it's good. Like I said, there's other ways you could split some of these up more. Um, um, you could maybe put a, uh, a colon there instead if you wanted you could get rid of some of these ends you know they were also scared of the flu etc cetera, etc cetera. so there's lots of ways you could do this but the important part is to make it shorter and this is an issue that all of you have um so work on that in this last one, there's many ways to do this. You didn't have to do it in this order. Um, you're just trying to give advice about whatever was happening in the picture. So here are some examples. For example, make sure you study. Uh, watch out for the ice. If I were you, I'd watch out for thieves. You can watch out again. Whatever you do, don't take the Leon bus company. I see the name is Leon. Um, you need to take out the trash. Uh, this is another good example. You would not say um, it is necessary to take out the trash. Uh, this would be a non-English way to say it. So be careful, this would be incorrect. Uh, don't open this door or else you might die or the most important thing in life is to watch where you step. Uh, there's a lot of correct answers. If you did this ahead of time, I checked it. So um, like I said, this is posted on the Google, Google Classroom if you want to check before the exam. Um, but this, these questions will be directly on the exam. And the last thing I want to say before we finish is um, there will there is also an attendance form posted on the Google Classroom. So please fill this out as well. Uh, on the days that you were here and weren't here, right? If you're present, if you're absent, or if you were late. So it doesn't matter if you were two minutes late or if you were two hours late, you would still mark late. Uh, and at the end, um, please give me a little bit of feedback about this class so I can improve it in the future and improve as a teacher and um, hopefully help you and other students learn better. So it says, take a couple minutes, write what you liked about the class this cycle, what you didn't like, and how the class could be improved. Um, I'm asking you to be honest because um, critical feedback helps me a lot more than saying, oh, it was great. 
And I know your name is on this form, but it won't affect your grade. And the last thing is there's also a form when you finish the test um, with um, San Marcos in the Centro de Idiomas, and they have a longer form um, that they want you to fill out. So um, obviously you're going to say my name, who it is, the day, and you're probably going to put excellent on all the answers. Uh, no, be honest on this as well. And um, this will help me some, but this will go straight to um, straight to the office. So if you don't have any other questions, please, um, after you finish checking your homework, um, start the exam. Um, and it was nice working with all of you. And I hope to see you again sometime. Thanks.